For those of you with the attention span of, well, me, this screen here is the whole tutorial. This is everything you need. Bring in a video to your Game Maker project as an included file, and use video underscore open to start playing it. That immediately starts a video playing in memory. You'll even hear the audio if you ran the game with just this. Actually drawing the frames themselves, you have to do manually. In the draw event, we use video underscore draw, which processes your playing video and returns a two-part array, or three for a YUV video. See the manual for more info on that. The first entry of the array tells us if everything went okay. If it did, it will contain 0, or minus 1 if there was an error, or minus 2 if it has finished playing on some platforms. I don't know which ones, but I've tested Windows and it doesn't come up there. You can just use video get status to know if it's finished, etc. But anyway, if all goes well, the value will be 0, and that means the second entry of the array now holds a surface containing our video frame. So all we have to do is draw that surface. Let's see how that looks. It's a video! Excellent. Being able to draw it this way is quite cool as it means we can put it through a shader or do whatever else we want to with it. The manual also gives lots of other little tools for pausing, resuming, and so on. It does seem at the moment that we're limited to just one video at a time playing in memory as you can't pass anything into video draw and it only brings back the one array. The other thing to keep in mind is the manual mentions that no codecs actually come with GameMaker so it relies on whatever codecs are installed on your target platform. GameMaker also can't provide you with a license for any particular codec. I can't speak a lot for other platforms, but for Windows I recommend using H.264 for video, MP4 for your container, and AAC for your audio. Windows ships with all of these out of the box and can handle them all, and I'm not a lawyer, but my limited understanding is you're not going to run into any issues using these for your video game. This actually came out in uh, version 2022.3, a couple of months back. Uh, we're getting a lot of cool new features. If you want to stay up to date, I've got release roundup videos covering all the big stuff going on with GameMaker at the moment. If you think my videos are helpful or good or whatever, you should know they exist at the whim of these lovely people on my Patreon. Thank you to them, and uh, thank you for watching to the end. I'll catch you all next time.